Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing okay. So today we're going to be doing a check-in to see what is going on in Divine Soulmates where the masculine is involved in a karmic situation or a karmic relationship. And I do know that quite a few of you who are feminines are also involved in karmic situations or relationships. So I will be doing a video specifically for that um, sometime next month, okay? Um, because my schedule is a little tight right now, but as of next month, um, I have arranged things so that I can have more time. All right, so that will definitely be coming up as well as um, I'm going to try to do a few more videos that are just specific for the karmic relationship. Okay, just DM and the karmic partner. All right, or <clears throat> again, it could be a situation. So just take these messages as they resonate. Some of what comes through for the masculines and their karmic situation could apply to the feminines as well if you're in a karmic situation because we all have both masculine and feminine energies, okay? So yeah, let's get started. Keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you want a personal reading to get more specific for what's going on with you, you can book a personal reading. All my information is in the description box. All right, so let's see. The masculines, what is going on here? All right, and we have appreciation. It did show up in reverse, but for oracle cards, I tend to take them upright. Um, there's something that they're he seeing here. There's something that they're able to appreciate. I feel like the reason why it was in reverse is because they're not really liking what it is that they're seeing. So it's kind of like the appreciation, but with the um, like negative or you know unfavorable aspect to it. Like I'm not really liking what it is that I am seeing. I can appreciate it for what it is, but I don't really like it. And I feel like that's what they're feeling about their situation at the moment. Let's see what else. All right, and we have the fledgling, which also um, actually flipped over in reverse. So yeah, this is them actually wanting to do something about it, but hesitating. All right, that's why it was in reverse. There's some hesitation of wanting to move away from the situation that they are in, but it'll, it's like the fledgling. It's This is a, um, an energy kind of like the fool. So it's like the bird leaving its nest. So it's like leaving the comfort zone, and that's why there is this um, hesitancy. Let's see what else is going on here. Alright, yeah. Okay, so we have stuck, we have offer, and we have free will. So the, this particular masculine is feeling very stuck in their situation right now. I feel like there is something that they want to do with this offer. Um, <clears throat> it's almost like they're in this, they're stuck in this feeling of being in the nest, right? Being in this little comfort bubble that they have created for themselves, not liking it, feeling stuck in that when they're actually feeling like they're stuck. That is creating another stuckness in terms of being able to make an offer where it is that they would truly want okay with their free will almost it's like this energy of feeling like they don't have free will feeling like they're just doomed and just stuck in this situation when of course that's not the case right we always have free will but at the moment they're feeling like where they want to give this cup they can't so this is a masculine who at the moment is feeling very stuck in the um, karmic situation that they are in. All right, and again, there is this tendency to want to move out of there, right? We have the fledgling, but they're feeling like it's a risk. They're feeling like it's a risk or that it could create um, I'm getting, fear. There's already fear around it, but there, it's, it's almost like a fear of the fear and fear of creating more fear is what's coming in. <clears throat> So let's get into the details. This does not mean that they're not going to get unstuck. I also, what I'm also getting here is that they're actually understanding, they're appreciating this stuckness. And I know that sounds a little weird to say, appreciating the stuckness, but it's like understanding it, okay? That's what I get with the appreciation card. Um, being able to appreciate what it is that they are feeling, what it is that they are um, experiencing, which is actually positive because that means that they are aware that they are stuck. 
and it's only when we are aware that we actually want to do something about it. If, if they're not aware, well then, you know, the, there'll be no more motivation to change that. So let's see, specifically the masculine's energy towards karmic partner, karmic situation. Of course, partner, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, okay? It can just, it can be anybody. It can be a, um, a relative, a friend. It, it could be work. It could be anything, okay? So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. See, so this is like what I was just saying, right? They have this sense of being detached. They have a sense of independence, right? That free will. It's there. They're, they want to be single. That's how they're feeling. They're not even feeling like they, like they are a part of this connection, relationship, situation, whatever. But they're not taking action on it. We will clarify, so we will get some more some more details here. And again, it's like with the Seven of Cups being in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of awareness about this. There's still some confusion. There's still some cloudiness, but it's like those clouds are clearing. And I feel like I've said that very recently in one of these readings, um, and it's showing up again. Like the clouds are just clearing. Seeing something for what it truly is. but not acting on it just yet. However, this is also a lot of irritability here towards this, towards the karmic person or situation. Let's see what else, let's see what's going on in their headspace. Page of Wands in Reverse, Strength, and the Queen of Cups. All right. It's coming in as a lack of courage, actually. And I know we have Strength upright, but with the Page of Wands being, being in Reverse here, it's coming in like a lack of courage, but the courage is there. So it's a lack of actually being able to take action on that courage and using it. It's almost like a... Um, What's the word? Like just, just some resistance. It's like resisting. I'm resisting my strength. I'm resisting my heart and what my heart is telling me and what my intuition is telling me. It's, I'm even getting this masculine is feeling a sense of comfort being stuck because that's just easier. But at the same time, in their headspace, they are still thinking about the strength that it requires to follow their heart and to move in the direction of love. I feel like there's a lack of communication here as well um, between the masculine and the and the karmic, like just pulling back, pulling back their energy, right? Because this is especially right under the nine of pentacles, feeling independent, feeling detached. It's coming in like the, the masculine right now within the karmic relationship is appearing to be in their own little world, in their own little bubble. Um, a lot of in and out, like when it comes to their energy, irritable, moody, as well as um, almost like impatient. Impatient and, and it, it's like they're holding on to this stubbornness of just being there. I will clarify, but before we clarify, let's um, get a little bit of their energy towards their feminine. swords in reverse the magician and the ace of cups all right yeah see so this is where they want to give that offer right and it's 
it's coming in as if they are they are manifesting it. They are manifesting it. I feel like it's just happening um, in a very like roundabout type of a way because with this nine of swords, it's like there's a lot of um, I'm seeing this like yes, you know there is a lot of stress when it comes to their feminine. A lot of anxiety and it could be a number of things we will clarify um, but I feel like it's this it's almost like they're also trying to avoid that stress it's like they're trying to avoid that stress and it's like they wish that it could just be like in some magical way just have this ace of cups with their feminine let's see what else And we got quite a few here. So let's see. Judgment, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse, and then we also have the Nine of Wands in reverse together with the Moon in reverse. Okay. What is going on here? There's a deep revelation that they're having about their feminine, but I'm getting that they're holding back um, from expressing this or from talking about it because with the Six of Wands in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of ego that is getting in the way here. So they don't want to, if you're in contact, they don't fully want to express this. There's something here in their ego towards their feminine that has not been fully healed. They are, like again, they are feeling very restless. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety it's like they want to manifest this love with you at the moment, but but there's a lot of ego. And I feel like a lot of this ego might also have to do with their um, karmic situation and the way that they appear possibly to others, their image, the way that they see themselves. Something along those lines, all right? Something about that how they view themselves or how they think other people view them or society or whatever, that hasn't been healed yet. What's happening though with this Nine of Wands being in reverse and the Moon being in reverse is that they're having a hard time suppressing their feelings about you. Like whatever this truth is that they have felt, seen, um, discovered, whatever, about the feminine or about you and your connection, they've been trying to repress that, right? Again, because of ego. They've been trying to repress that, showing a lot of resistance, as I said, but both of these are in reverse. So it's like they're not able to do that. It's like they're trying so hard to resist or to um, suppress, but the emotions keep coming up. Like whatever it is that they have seen, whatever it is that they have felt or discovered, you, they cannot hide it. They cannot hide it from their own selves. They're trying to because that's what will um, suit their persona or that's what will suit their position. That is what will suit them when it comes to staying stuck in their comfort zone in the nest. But, but they can't, they are, they're very much aware, okay? They're very much aware of the karmic situation and they're very much aware of the divine feminine situation and the connections. So let's clarify. So I'm clarifying that top row for their energy towards the karmic. All right, so the magician and the nine of pentacles in reverse now, right? Remember we had it um, upright here because that's how they're feeling. This is how they are acting and presenting themselves to the karmic, right? So they could be very detached, um, appearing like they're doing their own thing. Like I said, like living in their own little bubble, like just not really participating, just being on their own. So they're appearing very, very independent, but when it comes down to it, right? When it comes to what they're actually doing, in reality though, they're, they're still an attachment there. They haven't completely broken themselves away from that. They haven't 
they haven't become free just yet. And because of that, that is what is causing them to be very, very restless, feeling impatient, feeling irritable, um, you know, easily upset, easily triggered, that sort of a thing. Let's see this bottom row. here um we have judgment may or may not have been in reverse the emperor in reverse the five of swords and the page of swords yeah see the reason why we have this this um five of swords here is be and the emperor being in reverse is because like i said which i was intuitively picking up on before is that yes strength is there courage is there but they're not acting on it I'm also getting that there's like this lack of communication, lack of compassion towards towards the karmic partner at the moment. And that's because it's built up resentment, right? That Knight of Swords in reverse. This is built up res um, resentment. <laughs> I don't know, my mind just got stuck. Built up resentment towards the karmic partner. But it's almost like, again, they're feeling stuck when it comes to their free will. And I'm also getting that it's a stuckness when it comes to their fully expressing so what they're doing is um again it's just coming in as just completely just not not taking part just living in their own world not really being present the truth is there but they're just kind of like yeah you know i see it but i'm not going to do anything about it and that's why judgment is also in reverse here I feel like the masculine is just kind of sitting in it, as I said, just kind of sitting in it, really feeling the stuckness. And that's kind of like what has to happen. And that's this page of swords, um, really seeing the deceptiveness of this, really feeling, really experiencing and observing the toxicity and the, the manipulation that is in this relationship because they're also manipulating the um, the karmic, okay? So I know for a lot of you, you might feel like the karmic partner manipulates the divine masculine. Yeah, you know, that could be true. But I, I also feel like the masculine is manipulating the karmic partner in a different way because the masculine is in this particular connection because it gives them a sense of safety, a sense of um, comfort, or it just validates their ego, All right, which we have the, that six of wands here. Um, I feel like the karmic partner validates the masculine's ego, whereas the feminine doesn't really. And because of that, that's manipulation staying with the person because for, for that reason, it's selfish, right, in a way. And I'm not saying that in a very negative way, but I mean, we all have these qualities or these tendencies within us, right? At varying levels or extents. But it is a deception. And it's a deception to their own self as well. Because they're not, they're not finding that courage that they do have in order to move towards love. So that's just what's happening at the moment, okay? And this is, like I said, this is a phase that <clears throat> that needs to happen. The, the masculine has to experience um, the stuckness to its fullest to get very, very uncomfortable. And they're already beginning to feel that way. Let's see for... <laughs> Just had the devil show itself. So, yeah... Um, yeah, and I feel like that was referring to the Nine of Swords. But let's see. Masculine's energy towards the feminine, that top row. All right, we have the Chariot. See, there's this, there's this huge urge, there's this huge drive, it's very intense, right? The Chariot and the Magician, to move towards that Ace of Cups. They're feeling it, they're feeling that push. And the reason why they're feeling that push is because they're feeling so stuck. 
because when you're feeling stuck and it's not pleasurable, right? Like I said, that appreciation card in the reverse, um, you kind of want to do something about that. You want to get rid of that discomfort. But even the thought of moving towards their feminine creates a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress. But definitely that desire is there. And I feel like what the message here is overall is that the masculine is moving towards the feminine. But again, it feels like it's happening in a very roundabout kind of a way, in a way where it's not organized, in a way where it's not a straight line. All right, like with the chariot, it's like feeling out of control, not really knowing where you're going. And so that's how it is. It's like moving towards that Ace of Cups, moving towards that towards their divine feminine, manifesting that overall in the big picture. But there's a lot of other little stuff that happens in the meantime. And that kind of like obscures the, the overall view, the overview. At least from the outside. <laughs> All right, and on the 3D. Let's see the second row. Especially that Six of Wands. So we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like for a lot of you, there's either no communication or there's minimal communication, or if there is communication, um, it's, it's feeling kind of off. It's feeling kind of off, and that's because the masculine is still holding on to ego. Um, I'm getting here that, you know, they know that something needs to change. And I feel like something is changing. There is a shift that is happening within them. But at the moment, though, they're experiencing the stuckness. So that's what is going to be presented. And that's what's going to be coming out or, you know, that's what they're going to be vibrating is that stuckness. But beneath that, there's this shift that is happening. And I actually get that the reason why some of these masculines are holding back holding back communication here is because of ego. It's actually them feeling a little bit embarrassed about, you know, what it is that they can offer you, right? That they're just this page. All they can give you is one little pentacle if they do communicate with you at the moment because they're still stuck in this situation. So that's something that they have to heal. Um, and I feel like that's something that is in the process of healing right now is working on their own sense of self and you know, worried about how others are going to view them, including the feminine. They're not communicating because they know that they need to change this page of pentacles and it needs to be the king of pentacles, basically. <laughs> they can't just give you one little pentacle. They have to be able to give you, you know, the full nine yards. And they know this. This is something that they're very much aware. But again, six of wands in reverse, page of pentacles. I feel like that's feeling embarrassed, feeling, um, yeah, like it would just be, it, it's like, I don't want to say that they feel exactly intimidated by you, but there's this ego, like, you know what? Yeah, I didn't have, I'm still here. And maybe in the past, you know, this person may have told you that they were going to leave the karmic or I don't know what may have happened for some of you that I know that's not the case. You know, maybe the masculine just left you, but again, there's ego. There's ego there. Like, how can I just come back? Like, how do I save face now after, you know, possibly other things that have happened? So let me just clarify this nine of wands and the moon. All right, the queen of wands. Yeah, because they're viewing you as their divine feminine. They're viewing you as very desirable. They're viewing you as the person they would want um, to actually be with here because, and that's why, you know, as much as they try to repress these emotions or the way that they view you trying to push you out of their mind, they can't. Okay. It keeps coming back up. They, again, they try to resist it. It's not working. It's not working. You're like right there. Bam. All right, so I'm just going to get a couple of cards for the Divine Feminine Energy because last week I did do um, a whole video just for the Divine Feminine. So if you haven't watched that, you might want to watch that one. And I do feel like a lot more messages come through in the videos 
where I'm not focusing on the on the karmic situation. All right, and we have angel of love and it did show up in reverse. And for whatever reason today, I am <laughs> taking oracle cards in reverse. Okay, feminines, you're feeling like this is done. You're feeling like this is something that might not be able to actually ever manifest in the 3D. And if you're feeling that way, you know, and I've said this before, because this does show up um, once in a while, there is a reason for it. That is part of the detachment process. It is to help you to detach. Um, but if I'm getting that first, yeah, chaos. All right, so I feel like this is going to be just for a specific group of you, all right? Um, if you're feeling like this is just done or that there, you know, maybe this was all in your head or that maybe this isn't real love and that, you know, you're feeling like this is just all chaos, it's okay. Go with that. I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise because there's a reason why you're feeling that way. All right. And it is part of your detachment. Allow yourself to feel that. What does that feel like? And yeah, you know, it could be painful, but allow yourself to feel that and try to observe it like from outside of yourself. What does this feel like? Try to put words to it. Try to experience it to the fullest, no matter how painful it is, because that's how you are actually going to mend that wound. Because it can feel like it's chaotic and the more you try to repress it, or to avoid it, it can create chaos in your mind, in your external world, because it's whatever's in your mind or whatever it is that you're vibrating, that's going to be created in your external environment as well. And this would even be true for those of you who are just trying to get this out of your mind, you know, and just to pretend like everything is okay. Like, I'm fine, I don't. I'm not in pain anymore. And if you're not in pain and, and that's really, really true, then that's, that's great. That's exactly where you want to be. But sometimes we can try to just ignore it and pretend and try to convince ourselves that, yeah, I don't feel this love anymore. I'm fine. That's going to create chaos, all right, if that's the case. So let me just get a few more here, see if there's anything else here for the feminines. And I know this isn't going to be for all of you. Um, I feel like it's just a message for some of you. But I'm also definitely getting that um, there are others of you where you are definitely feeling this, like this connection is not going to be able to happen and you're feeling okay with that. You're beginning to at least. Because to be honest, chaos was also kind of in reverse. <laughs> so I do feel like for a lot of you, that's coming out of that chaos. Like if you're not allowing that to be disruptive to you anymore or you're just healing that energy. All right, and we have, okay, this is interesting. Um, surrender and twin flame. And yes, I know that that was in reverse as well, because that's what you're feeling. You're feeling like, well, maybe this isn't my twin flame after all. Maybe that doesn't even exist. And you know what? That's okay too. We don't have to label anything. Um, like I said, just go, go with it. Surrender to whatever it is that you are feeling. That's what spirit is asking you to do right now. Allow yourself to feel that. It's okay. Don't try to convince yourself of anything else other than what you are feeling. There is a reason for that. That is what is going to move you um, forward. All right. So what I'm going to do is I know I didn't get like what is coming up because I kind of feel like this is what is happening. Okay. Um, in the next, in the next week or so, or yeah, not more than that. It's, it's just the current energy and I am actually feeling guided to stop here. So I am going to leave it at that. I do definitely feel like, again, there's a reason for all of this. The masculines are feeling stuck because they need to fully experience that stuckness and the feminines, you're feeling like this is just done, like the love is just either gone or or you're feeling the love is there, right, from your masculine, but that this connection can never actually come to be. And you're being called to surrender to that too. So there's like, um, it's kind of like a mirroring here. And so what we have here is peace. Yes, yeah, see, this is leading up to peace and I feel like the more that you can surrender 
to this energy because that's what's going to help you to detach from this. Um, the more peaceful you're going to feel, number one, which is the most important. Number two, this peace card is also talking about liberty, right, and freedom, which is what the masculine also needs from, the, from this situation, right, Nine of Pentacles, becoming more independent and finding their own peace, which is going to help them to find that courage, right? Finding that peace rather than that <laughs> crazy Knight of Swords energy so that they too can move towards love and move towards that Ace of Cups. Regardless of whether you are, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just accept what you feel. If you're feeling like it's over, allow yourself to feel like it's over. That's perfectly okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you so, so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.